What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. Today we're going to talk about the reveals and stuff, if I could speak English. Woke up, saw it wasn't crazy hyped, and I was like, I'll do it whenever I can get around to it. But if you enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, whatever. This is going to be pretty informal. We're just going to scroll through this bad boy and see what's up. And also, I'm noticing my shirt looks like it could be the, uh, the P-Hub logo. It's not. It's just Naruto. So it just looks really bad because <laughs> of the angle. It's fine. We're good. But it definitely looks like something else. But we're just going to go through here, honestly. I had seen... I mean, I love those King Kai sleeves. Those are awesome. I'll probably stick with my Shinron ones, but I'm totally down for that. Clear stages, get slot removers and medals. That's awesome. That's great. Is it just her again? I don't like that. I like Tosh. She's hard to listen to. And I know she's nice. I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm not like... I hate her. I, she's just hard to listen to because she doesn't speak that good of English. Not, I'm not a huge fan of it being just her. I think Koshi's fine there. Uh, he got another platinum equipment because he's so trash that he needs a second one. <laughs> uh, Zenkai Awakening for Kid Gohan. That's actually a cool one. I like that unit. That a unit's a cool assist unit. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock that. He's ah okay. He's here. He's here. He's here. I stand by what I said, but he's here. Now sparking Yamcha. I can't tell you. I was uh, expecting a sparking Yamcha. Nope. Nope, last thing I was expecting. No shot. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm totally down. I'm move this a little bit, actually. I'm totally down. But I, I can't tell you I was expecting a sparking Yamcha, of all things. Now, I was expecting this Goku, if we're being honest. I just didn't make any videos. Because I don't want everything that I ever talk about to be legends. <laughs> but this one looks sick. I'm down. Would I tell you guys to summon on this? We gotta see his kit in action realistically right like i love we'll read through the kit and everything and i love to just tell you guys oh dude you want the unit go for it anniversary's next month bro don't be dumb don't be dumb if you absolutely love this unit i would almost guarantee that the anniversary is not gonna be saiyan saga but if you absolutely love this unit and this time frame or you just got some money in your pocket by all means my advice even if they are so Goddamn good, it's undeniable, which I highly doubt. I think I heard he was yellow. <laughs> so Super 17. Even if they were. The anniversary is next month. And that's not an ultra. So he will pop up again. The same thing with Super 17. That's why I wouldn't say you didn't have to go ham on his banner. He'll pop up. You'll get him at some other point. Don't worry. There's LFs. I didn't pull on their first banner. And then like four months later, I like 14 started. I summoned a lot more way back in the day. <laughs> but still. <laughs> like... I mean, okay, so I'm I'm here for the Yamcha love. I, I like Yamcha. I think he's cool. Element Blue. He could actually be the answer to Super 17. We'll have to see. Saiyan Saga. Let me skip to where it shows this whole thing. Or just, you know. That's fine. Oh, no big deal. No, we're good. Oh, that's all they put in that big thing. Okay. Strike and Blast Defense. Not bad. 50% damage affected. Effects reset if the character switch. Arch card draw speed, which is good. Minus 5 to Strike and Blast. Arts cost. Hold on. My bad, I had to cough. Uh, 90 percent damage inflicted, nullifies own health when it reaches zero. So he does endurance nullification, which is good. I'll be honest, all we're looking for here is does he answer Super 17. Everything else is completely irrelevant. He probably dies to Gohan. That's the dangerous thing about what they did with having Super 17 being so good and then instantly going into Baby, who Super 17 can guard, and then Gohan, who can then guard Super 17. And then, obviously, Freeze is obviously really good, too. But that's that's the dangerous thing of what they did, is having that red and then being able to be covered by a green like Gohan. Because now, even when a blue comes out, does it really threaten Super 17? I mean, we'll see. Based on this kit, he can probably put the work in. But, I mean, Gohan can put the... Any unit can put the work in, I'll be honest with you guys. Ever since about Red, Vegito, Blue, every unit that's come out can put the work in and can be a good unit, you just have to be good at playing the game. Or at least okay at playing the game. Like, know what buttons and when to push them. Everybody's gonna have, you know, RNG included, and of course, any unit can win if you get Rising Rushes off and everything like that. That doesn't matter. But since about Red Vegito Blue, maybe even as early back as Red Ultra Hit, every unit's been at least able to keep up with the meta. It's not like it used to be. It used to be a unit would come out and just be actual trash. Like, they would actually just be unusable the day they came out. Like, Purple Rage Vegeta. 
we were all hyped. We we're like, dude, this unit's gonna be so good. The one in Dokkan is great. And he was actually like the worst unit in the game on the day he launched. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Randomly draws at most two new cards, you know, three or fewer. Restore his own key by 40, 20% of damage inflicted, applies buff, nullify, reduce key effect. That's actually kind of cool. Also applies buff effect, unique ability applies the following, critical rate. So I want to say the problem we're going to see is his team, which I 100% think it's gonna, that's going to be his problem, is that he doesn't sit on a defined team. Like if a Gogeta unit comes out, he's automatically on movies for the most part, right? Uh, unless it's Super Saiyan 4. Then he's automatically on GT, which has got a good solid team. If a Terminal Power unit comes out, automatically they're on a good, a good enough team. Obviously, you know, Gohan, Goku. Like, this Goku that comes out, even if he's yellow, he's got Gohan to guard him. He's probably going to be pretty good. It doesn't even matter, right? We'll have to see what Yamcha can do. Falling effects occur when changing color and nullifies his own unfell. Uh, it's actually kind of cool. He goes type neutral. Minus two to arts card draw speed for three time accounts. That's actually insane for cover changing. That instantly kills people's combos. So, like, if he cover changes into it, that can, that can legitimately kill a combo. Let's see. Well, I face when this character into the battlefield, restore zone key by 25, 80% damage inflicted, seals, blast starts, the following effects. He could be okay. That whole ceiling blast starts right there, and literally stopping their combo, that right there kills Super 17's momentum. Unless at some point he's done his green card, then maybe, but once you once Super 17 gets his green card, you're kind of screwed anyway, so. Rip. <laughs> it's looking a little promising for the boy. I think his teams will suffer, but nowadays with the leader system, I don't think it matters that much. I don't think you need to worry about having a defined team. Like, hell, Frieza came out, and he's technically in movies, and he's ran on anything but movies. <laughs> Third of us into tag, Sun Family. Oh, sprinklers turned on. I was like, what the hell is that sound? <laughs> Why is there water in my room? Uh, he is yellow, which is a very... It's a decision they made. Uh, I may have made him blue and then Yamcha yellow, but then Yamcha would not have been even worth anything, so I get it. Sun Family and Saiyan! <laughs> Episode Saga Z. Strike and Blast Defense. I don't really care that he's Sun Family. I think it's fine. It's Goku Ball Z. It doesn't matter. Or it's Gohan Ball Z. It's Sun Family Ball Z. Unfailed Adamants. Da -da -da. Shorten Substitution Count by 10. Attribute minus 50% to Ultimate Awakened Arts Power. That's interesting. It's a very unique. Let's pop this. Uh, that's actually very unique. Minus 50% to ultimate and awakened arts power. The first unit to have that? Correct me if, if, if he's not. 30% is relatively high, but it's not that crazy. Alright, special arts card next. Activates twice. 70% destroyed damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Arts card drops you by one level. 5% to. Faint on hit. Oh, we're back to that! So green Android 16, uh, Kakarot Goku after a green card. There's a couple units that can do that. Green, Super, what is this? No, Android 15? Android 14? One of those, I think it's 15. I have a chance to inflict Faint on the hit. Can you guys see my mouse? Hold on. I would prefer you guys see my mouse, because then I can like point out what I'm talking about. Buff effect nullifies enemy special actions that I have to even change in cover. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Applies buff effect. Nullifies any special actions. Hmm. But who does it realistically stop? Because a lot of these units have where it can't be canceled. We'll have to see. I'm bad at that. I'm bad at remembering what's going to actually be canceled. Especially in the middle of playing. I'm in the middle of playing. You got, what, three seconds to decide if your things... I'm not going to write home about that right now. Restore his own vanishing gauge by 100% when the character performs a vanishing step. If the defeated battle member activates once... That's pretty good. Right now we draw one new card. Restore his key by 40, 30% damage inflicted. Minus 5 to strike arts cost. Can't do own attribute downgrades. The decent enough special arts green card. Also applies the following effects. If there's a defeated battle member, restore his health by 15%. Increases arts card draw speed. You deals massive impact damage. 50% ultimate, 100%. Like here's where we start seeing some stuff. Blast arm when charging forward, but obviously Gohan has anti. Blast armor, so we'll have to see how that affects. Randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws the ultimate arts card, Crimson Dragon Rush. 
Oh, that's going to be sick. Just see the Goku that catches. Oh, I love it. I do. I'm going to like these animations. Help by 30% nullifies. But he also does have endurance. On the main ability for 10 timer counts. Remember that. That is such an important thing for like killing like Gohan and stuff. Just remember that. Cancels enemy attribute downgrade, upgrades, whatever. Pretty standard stuff, that aside. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, what are you doing to me now? Why are we loading? I haven't made a video in, what, a week? Week and a half? I sit down. Somehow, Dokkan's still playing, so. That's cool. Uh, actually, has even, like, time on the bar. I haven't made a video in a week, a week and a half. I am offline somehow. So. That may be where we wrap it on this video. Thank you so much for watching the Bradical channel. I hate this shit, man. Fix the internet, bro. I pay $130 a month. Fix the internet. <laughs> Optimum. I'm looking at you, bro. Go out all the time. But either way, I think that Yamcha is probably going to be relatively impactful. I actually really do. He's not going to struggle to find teams because obviously the leadership skill is a thing. So it's fine. Goku honestly might suck ass. He might. He might just be terrible. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Even if he's got Gohan on his side and he covers purples for Gohan, he might be shit. Just be ready if he's not good. But he, he could. Oh, well, now we're out of time on Dokkan Battle 2. Internet's out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I think Yamcha will actually be pretty okay. Goku might be trash. Don't spend your goddamn money right before the anniversary. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why do I need to tell you this? What are you doing, man? Why do I need to tell you this? Oh, back online. We're good. See, I, I lied to you guys the whole fucking time. We're going to wrap the video there. <laughs> I can't pick it up now. I can't. I can't pick up after I just said all of that, and then the internet comes back. I can't pick it up. Okay, it's just a bunch of Sandland stuff. I'm out of here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fuck off, YouTube. Go away. I'll catch you around.